Everybody knows how to walk, run, swim, or bike because they grew up doing those activities. But not everybody knows how to row because they didn't grow up rowing. And because of that, they find it intimidating and they also think it's complicated. But rowing is actually quite easy to do. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you everything you need to know to master the art of rowing in a couple of easy steps. And you'll be able to use this video anytime you wanna practice your strokes. So as we get started, there are three things you need to remember. The order, the power, and the timing. If you get those three things, you can master rowing very, very easily. So Josh is gonna connect himself to the rower and strap in, and he's gonna pull a few perfect strokes. Now as you watch Josh pull a few strokes, if you don't know anything about rowing, you may not know why he's doing it so well. But the first thing that Josh is doing perfectly is the order. Many people believe that the legs, the core, and the arms all push and pull at one time because it's a total body activity. But in rowing, it's actually a linear progression, and those muscle groups or those body parts actually initiate at different times in the stroke. The order is very specific. It is legs first, then core, then arms, then arms, then core, then legs. Let's look at that again. Legs first, then core, then arms, then arms, then core, then legs. Now if you're doing that order, you're certainly not gonna row like that. You're gonna row more smoothly, but that's the order you wanna do the stroke in. If you do it out of order, it becomes really difficult to get your timing and your power and your rhythm right. Let me give you an example of somebody that's doing the rowing order out of order. So Josh is gonna give you an example of somebody who's leaning back a little early. Right here, what you see him doing is, he's trying to initiate through his core before he's actually straightened his knees completely. And again, what's gonna happen there is he won't get as much power because he's trying to use his back when his legs haven't finished the job. Another example of rowing out of order would be coming on the way in towards the catch. Here's an example of somebody who's bending their knees before they've completely straightened their arms. So you see what Josh has to do is he has to lift the handle up and over his knees with every single stroke he takes. Now that may not seem like a big deal, but in reality, it's a really big deal because rowing 25 strokes a minute, your shoulders are gonna to have to do a lot of work lifting them up over your knees and they won't really contribute to any kind of power in the stroke. So the first thing to remember is getting the order right. Just practice your legs first, then your core, then your arms, and make that movement um, smoothly and slowly in one complete stroke and you're on your way. The second thing that's important to remember is power. In rowing, the power distribution is not even from your toes all the way up to your fingertips. It's actually distributed very specifically between the legs, the core, and the arms. If we broke it down, it would be 60% of the power in your legs, 20% in your core, and 20% in your arms. So think 60, 20, 20. Now, that's not gonna be exactly the percentages for everyone that gets on a rower, but it's gonna be pretty close. Let me give you an example of what it might look like if somebody has the order correct, but they don't have the power distribution correct. Josh will show you what someone looks like when they're trying to do all of the work with their arms. So you can see here, he's actually got the order right, but he's trying to make up and get the best numbers he can by pulling on the last six inches. Now, you'll get pretty good numbers for a few seconds, but your arms are gonna get very tired very quickly. And many people find if they do this, they can't last on the rower more than a couple of minutes. So when you're rowing, remember the power distribution. Put most of it in the legs, push with the thighs, then lean back, then pull with about 20% in the core and 20% in the arms. It should feel like you're rowing with 60-20-20, and it should look like you're rowing with 60-20-20. Now there's the third step, and that is the timing. A lot of people get on rowing machines, and they do what we call a 1-1 ratio, where they run one count out and then one count in. They row one count out and one count in. And they actually race to the front of the rower or to the catch. Rowing is actually a three count movement. So the movement's actually one out, two counts in. One, two, three. One, two, three. And even if you're rowing faster, you still want to protect that ratio of one, two, three. Another way to think about it is the drive, that one count, say to yourself, power. And then on the way into the catch, say patience, patience twice. So it works like this. Power, patience, patience, power, patience, patience, power, patience, patience. That'll help you get the timing down. And even when you're rowing all the way up at that 40 strokes per minute during the race, during the indoor row workout, you still want to think to yourself, one, two, three. Power, patience, patience. 
And it's really simple why you want to do this. If you row too quickly and you don't give yourself that two count recovery, you think your power is going to be bigger in the long run, but you actually see your power fade because you don't give your body enough recovery on that powerful drive. Just like if you were in the water and you pulled a few strokes, you wouldn't immediately put the oar back in the water. You've got to send the boat, take a little recovery before you grab the water and take another stroke. So those are the three most important things. Get the order right, legs, core, arms. Get the power right, 60, 20, 20, legs, core, arms. And then get the timing right. One out on the drive and two coming in on the recovery. That's all you need to know to be a great rower. Now, you may not get all of those steps right away, so concentrate on one thing at a time. But we promise you, if you practice this video just a couple of times, you're gonna have rowing mastered in no time.